Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with The Tapping Flamingo. Today's video is all about a collaboration challenge hosted by Peacecraft Dolls. The collaboration challenge is called the 2022 Doll Challenge and this month, which is December, the theme is gifts. So this is Sandy Piper and I'm actually going to turn her into a special gift for one of my favorite little girls. So Sandy Piper is all decked out for Christmas, which is perfect. For one thing, it's December. But the person that this is going to has a December birthday. And it's my granddaughter, my oldest granddaughter. She's getting ready to be baptized. And so I'm turning this little girl into a baptism doll. I do need to make her a zipper pull though or a little pole chain for her eye charm. This little dress, my sister, she made it. Isn't it pretty? She also made this little headband and I just added a little touch of a poinsettia to it. All right, let's go make her a brand new little pole charm. My most recent uh, curated beadbox subscription, I received these really pretty beads. They're calling them imitation Dalmatian Jasper. They don't look anything like that, but they're uh, white with little gray inclusions. They're glass beads, and I think they're absolutely pretty. And I'm going to pair them with some clear crystals, and then I have a CTR charm that I want to hang on the bottom of this pole. And it is, um, CTR means choose the right. Here's a little up close look at these pretty beads. I mainly want her to be dressed in white, but I think the gray pairs well. I took some 20 gauge wire and I put the beads on there along with those crystals. And then I have some bead caps that are in an antique brass and so I just strung them up, started a loop at the bottom, hanging the CTR charm on there, and then I just messily wrapped it around. That is the wire. I used round nose pliers to do this and just kind of wrap it in a messy form. And look how beautiful this looks. Put a little lobster claw clasp on the other end and we're good to go to hang it on the little pole that changes the Blythe doll's eye color. Now she needs a pair of matching earrings. So I'm using the same bead and bead caps and crystals. Just two bead caps, one white bead, one crystal bead. Put it on a head pin and then bend it at a 90 degree angle. I usually use my finger as a reference, the width of my finger, and I clip the head pin, as you see I've done here. Then using a round nose pliers, I just roll a little loop. And then I open the loop up a little bit and hang it into the ear wires there, and boom, we have us a pair of earrings. They're very simple and perfect size for your doll, and I'm sure she would let you borrow them too. And here's what they look like on crystal, perfect size. And they match the beads on the little zipper pull that I did. Here's a closer look on how I attached the zipper pull. Just tie a little knot, hang the lobster claw in the knot, and tighten it up a little bit. Now that we have the zipper pull and the matching earrings, you know what? I think I'm actually gonna bead her eye pull string and then maybe hang that zipper pull on top of it. So I went through all my alphabet beads and I dug out the letters for crystal and beaded it up. And then at the very bottom, I added an acrylic bead that looks like a crystal. I flanked the letters with some glass beads and some Hishi beads. I've changed Sandy Piper's name to Crystal. And the reason is my granddaughter actually goes by her middle name, but her first name is Crystal. So I thought it would be perfect to name the doll Crystal. Besides, with all this white, it just seems crystally to me. <laughs> what do you think?
When you already have beads on the eye pull string, you don't have to tie a knot for the zipper pull. You could just hang it at the top of all those beads. The next thing I did is popped on a pair of little cozy white boots. And now she's all perfect and ready to give to my granddaughter at her baptism. I love the way she turned out. I want to thank you for joining me today. And now I hope you go check out all the other participants. I'll leave a hashtag down in the description box below, so all you have to do is click on it and it will take you to everybody that's participating. I believe this is the last of this collaboration challenge that my sister is hosting. I've enjoyed all the fun I've had dressing up my dolls using the word that Tammy has given us to create around. I've also enjoyed checking out all the other participants in these challenges that she's given us. The doll community has been absolutely wonderful and I am so glad that I've been able to meet a lot of really good people. I never thought that I would be into dolls as much as I've gotten into them. It's been a really fun journey and I look forward continuing to make jewelry for them and jewelry for me. Have a wonderful day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Bye-bye.